What happens when you launch a rocket, but your rocket fuel is magnetic force? I'm Vanessa from CSIRO, and this is a magnetic rocket. So here's our magnetic rocket, or magnetic accelerator, ready to roll. It's pretty good fun. Now, we've got three steel ball bearings here. This on the end is a magnet, and I've got another steel ball to collide with all of them. And you'll see what happens. Now, we're going to make one, and we're going to supersize it a little bit, more magnets, so it's going to be more awesome. OK, so let's make our magnetic rocket. First of all, it's a good idea to have a pair of safety glasses because we're going to be using neodymium supermagnets, also known as rare earth magnets. You can get these from hardware stores, but also look online because there are a couple of companies that you can uh, order supermagnets from. The reason I have safety glasses is that these are very strong and if they do collide together hard enough, they can explode, sending chips of supermagnet flying in all directions. So just protect your eyes. Okay, so for my, uh, my rocket, I'm going to use some skewers and these are going to act as the track for some ball bearings to roll along. So use some blue tack to stick your track down to a smooth, hard surface like a table. Don't use a metal table because the magnets stick to it and it doesn't work as well. Um, I'm going to put the super magnets at intervals so they're just far enough apart that they don't attract and stick to each other but close enough so that when the first ball hits one magnet it's going to be attracted towards the magnet and it's going to accelerate when it hits it's going to transfer momentum through the magnet through one ball bearing through the second ball bearing sending it to the next magnet and every step along the way you're going to be adding acceleration because each magnet is going to attract the ball faster and faster. So now I've got a bit of a chain reaction set up. So this is going to be the first ball uh, that's going to start it off. When I send it along, it's going to send this ball to this, to this magnet and this ball to this one. So let's give it a go. Woohoo! So, if you like what you saw, subscribe so you can see more videos like this. Um, leave us a comment. Tell us what you thought of it. If you tried it out, tell us if it worked. And uh, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. You're going to start to see this white, cloudy, kind of thready stuff starting to form. That is the DNA precipitating.